between bringing people more information and bringing people more of the information that the campaign wants them to have. I mean, are people better informed? Is there more bottom line transparency, do you think? I think there's something, uh, you know, it's, it's like accidental transparency, right? People accidentally say something that they wouldn't ordinarily say. And, and then all of a sudden it goes viral and it's this huge issue and wow, because of social media, now we got you and this is now just gonna trend and it's causing people also to kind of clam up and make sure that you know, they know they are being observed 24 hours a day. You know, we talk a lot about what's trending on social media and sometimes it can give us the feeling that um, it makes what I do and what people in my business do so much more ephemeral you know it, that was always the case but when when it's on social you think you know it was if it was trending five minutes ago then we're done now but you were saying that what you're seeing in the impact of articles and, and issues trending on social is that you're the whole it, idea of what's outdated is getting outdated. So I'd love to hear you talk about that. You know, one of the things that I always talk about immediately with my clients is that if you're going to actually really integrate social media into the work that you're doing, then you better be on top of your game. If I go and I see a blog that's more than a week or so old, I'm just going to leave and find somebody who's doing the same exact thing that you are, except is, you know, more current. So that's when I said, you know, the whole notion of outdated is kind of outdated when it comes to news feeds and that, you know, and it also just goes to show you that, um, you know, the internet is forever. 